it's Naka. So for today's video, we're going to be doing a Q&A. I know you guys have a lot of questions that you wanted me to answer and I kind of want you guys to get to know me better. And just a disclaimer out there, I'm going to be really honest and I'm going to be real. If you don't like some of the answers that I give out, it is what it is. Like, this is just me. I'm not here to please anyone. I'm just here to be myself. Take it or leave it, mates. So the first question is, how long did it take Dominic to propose? Um, this is a good question. So after a year, Dominic would talk about us, you know, like getting married. How would I feel if he were to propose? And I always told him that I wanted to wait at least five years. Um, it was 10, but then he was like, what? And then I moved it to five just because there was a lot of things within myself that I wanted to work on. I always preach about self love, but it's really true. Like I, when it comes to loving myself and just other like bad habits that I had, I wanted to get rid of them because when, in my mind, when I'm someone's wife, in this case, Dominic's wife, I wanted to just be someone that he can really rely on. I wanted to be like, you know, like a strength and I just wanted to be like a strong woman really. And also I wanted to be comfortable with the idea of being a mom. And me, three years ago, I did not want kids. Like, I wasn't even sure that I wanted to get married. There's a lot of things that I was dealing with within myself that I needed to work on. So that's really why it took us three years. It really wasn't Dominic, it was more so me. There's so many things on myself that I needed to work on. And also, um, getting married is a big, big commitment. For me, I believe in, me and Dominic is gonna be forever. We're gonna have our ups and downs, I know that, but I really wanted to make sure that he's the guy that I see myself being with for the rest of my life. Unless he does something that I don't, that doesn't align with what I believe in, then me and Dominic are forever, and I wanted to make sure that he is that man that I want to be with, you know? So, um, yeah, that is why it took three years. And I think for Dominic as well, he had things that he needed to work on. So that's really why we waited three years. Um, but some people, they don't wait three years. Some people get married after six months. Everyone is different. There's no right or wrong. I don't believe that there's a specific amount of time that you need to get married. You don't, marriage is not something that me personally, I think that you should rush. You need to get to know the person. The divorce rate is very, very high because people nowadays, they don't, you don't know who you're getting involved with. And just like that, even if you wait to get married to someone, people change in a relationship. So who I am today may not be who I am going to be in three years. And maybe my partner is not gonna like that. So it's gonna cause a drip. So you just really have to, work on the relationship together. So Dominic, I would say, wanted to get married and all was serious after, I wanna say like a year or so. So yeah. Next question, how many kids do you want? Ooh, this is a hard one. So for me, I don't specifically have a number. With kids, I don't, me and Dominic, we don't have any kids. So for this one, I'm gonna say, it depends on how, the childbirth goes it depends on how my birthing goes for the first child my mom says she has she had a dream that I had three kids and I had twins in one of those kids so I don't know um three looks like a really good number for me just because I well I'm 28 years old right so I am am I 20 oh I'm 27 I'm turning 28 <laughs> in April so um yeah so being that I'm going, let's just say I'm 28. So being that I'm 28 years old, I'm gonna have my kids later on. And I feel since I'm having my kids later on, I don't, you know what, power of the tongue leads. I don't wanna speak things into existence, but maybe I will have more than three children. Only God knows those things. So I don't know, I'll see, but I would definitely like to have three. Everyone keeps saying three, so maybe I'll have three, but I don't know. You never know these things. I don't want to limit myself to how many kids that, you know, people see. But my mom's dreams always come true, you know? So the other day she told me, she was like, oh, I had a dream you had twins. And then, um, but she had a dream I had, I think, two boys and one girl. I was like, rebuke, rebuke, rebuke. I need a bunch of girls, but I don't know. Like, I'll be happy with boys too. But I'm team girls, me. I was talking to Dominic the other day and I was like, imagine doing like a gender reveal or whatever. And then let's say you want, I want a girl, right? And Dominic wants a boy and then bam, it's a boy. Can you imagine? Like, I wonder if some parents 
get disappointed. I feel like they do like get disappointed, yeah. But for me, I don't think I'm gonna be disappointed because I already have my little brother. I, I grew up with a bunch of boys. So boys, it's a blessing. Girls, it's gonna be a blessing. So next question. What was your parents' reaction to your engagement? Mates, my parents were very, very happy for me and Dominic. My mom already had a dream that me and Dominic got married. Mates, I swear, my mom, like, she has psychic powers. Like, that woman, mates, she, I don't know. I don't mess around with her because whatever dreams she has, they always come true. And she always knows everything. So she already knew me and Dominic were gonna um, get married because at the beginning of the, our relationship, Dominic really wanted to meet my parents. Like, Dominic's always been, when we first started dating, he said he was looking for something serious and stuff like that. And I was like, ooh, all right. Like, I was still in my party girl thing, but he met my parents, like, earlier on. Like, he's just very, very, like, kind and, like, supportive of me and my family. So my parents were extremely happy. Like, they were, they even posted it, like, on online and they never post anything online so it was a big celebration and I'm so grateful that I get along with his family and he gets along with my family like can you imagine like not getting along with your significant other's family Woo! couldn't be me mates next question are you gonna do your hair and makeup for your wedding um that's a very good question because I don't I mean I could do my own makeup or I could not. The thing is like, we're probably gonna have like a destination wedding to either like Thailand, um, if uh, here in Mexico, and like places where there aren't a lot of like black people, you know? I mean, there are darker skinned Thai people and Mexican, but I find that when it comes to doing makeup on um, darker skinned people, it's hard to find makeup artists. This is just my experience. I don't wanna speak, you know, to anywhere else. Like if you're dark skinned and you have your makeup done in Thailand, that's great, in Mexico, that's great. But for me, I just feel like I haven't found those places in those specific countries. But I could be wrong, um, but I'm definitely gonna do my research. Just, I feel like, um, I would have to bring in my own foundation and stuff like that. So it's just, I might, I, honestly, I probably am going to do my own hair and makeup. Um, I just don't know what I'm going to do. I might do my natural hair. I might do braids because mates, I'm very good at doing braids now, like locks. They're really cute. Either my natural hair or I'll do like braids. A wig is too messy for me and I sweat too much. So I wouldn't do a wig. So it's either going to be my natural hair or braids. I'm a C. Will you have a big or small wedding? That is another good question. Um, for me personally, I really want a small wedding. No disrespect to anyone that doesn't get invited. It's probably honestly gonna be just immediate family. So on my side, my mom, dad, and my brothers, and then Dominic's side, his parents and his brother. Um, he does have like aunts and uncles, so he can invite them. Like he's Close to that, on my side, I don't have any aunts or uncles that are in Canada. They're all in Congo, so they wouldn't be able to come to the wedding because they would need visas, right? So um, just for that, it's gonna be really, really small. And the older I get, the more I really value family. And I just want the people that really care and have been there for me and Dominic, this our whole relationship and giving us nothing but positiveness to be there. So that's why it's gonna be like really small. We're probably gonna do it like in the backyard or like um, at the beach. I don't know, I kind of want like a backyard. I saw that on YouTube and I was like, oh, that's really cute. I just want my wedding to be really, really intimate and just something small. I don't need a lot of people there on my wedding just because I'm not trying to show out or to prove anything, right? Um, my dress is going to be extremely simple. I find that a lot of times, um, well, I'm Congolese, right? So a lot of times when it comes to wedding, it's like there's always random people you don't know. You have to watch how you are. I've been to so many weddings and it's it's just like I never wanted that from my wedding I always wanted to go um, to a wedding where I knew everyone right so that's probably what's gonna be really really small immediate family only but yeah and it's going to be a destination wedding so not a lot of people are gonna be able to make it mm -mm.
Can you do a natural hair tutorial? Absolutely not. I will not be doing any like natural hair tutorial on my channel because the natural hair community is very, very toxic. I grew up watching YouTube videos and I always noticed that the girls that do natural hair videos, they take breaks and then they come back and talk about how toxic, you know, natural hair for uh, black women. It's very, it's a very tricky subject because we've like society makes fun of us for our hair and our features so it's like a lot of women are very like protective and they want you to do things a certain way because they think that you know that's the way to do things but everyone's different and I think that a lot of people they don't understand that because of all the hurt that they've been through especially with their hair so I kind of understand that and I don't want to like trigger anyone or do anything like rude like I've seen videos of like um, girls cutting their hair and then the comments are like why would you cut your hair my hair doesn't grow when you're out here cutting hair but it's like bro like she wants to cut her hair let her cut her hair so a lot of like um, these natural hair girls they're very like triggered you know like everything triggers them so I don't want that um, I might do it on like my Instagram as like a quick reel because I can block bitches really quickly so trust and believe I'm not gonna do it on YouTube I did a wig video and it did well but that's just for fun you know it was like a party city wig but when it comes to like natural hair and the products that I use that's too much I don't want these natural girls to come for me ain't nobody got time for that like I don't have all day to block people mates next question I broke up with my boyfriend because he cheated but now I want him back what should I do mates I hate people like that I hate when people get cheated on and then they complain they make a huge scene about um, their boyfriend cheating on them they break up with them but then they want to go back and then they go back my thing is if someone cheats on you or like your boyfriend girlfriend cheats on you if you're gonna if you know that you're gonna go back and if you know that you're really hurt just don't say anything take some time off tell them I need a break don't break up with them take some time off and just go back like you don't need to do the most so I would say if you really really want to go back and you want to go back to the disrespect to the heartache them making you feel like you're not good enough just hit them up like text them you want them back 100% they're probably gonna take you back because they already know you have low self-esteem um, this is harsh but mates if you go back to a cheater one thing I cannot tolerate and I will never tolerate is a cheater I hate liars and cheaters and just as much as I don't like like I just oh I cannot it pisses me off guys that cheat and then lie to their girlfriends because my friends have been exposed to that and then it's even more annoying when you're trying to tell someone don't go back to them you know like love yourself value yourself and you don't listen and then they go back to them and it it never ends well unless you're lucky but that's like 0.0.9 percent there's always going to be that one person well my husband cheated on me and we're happily married together are you though because i feel like if someone cheats on you like it's the ultimate heartbreak so for me like I can never stay with or go back to someone that cheated on me no matter how sorry they were because it's just like you're always it's always going to be in the back of your mind a lot of time like I would feel like I would look like a clown not to others but to myself I owe it to myself to walk away and find better there's so there's a million men out there you like there's a million guys out there good guys out there why settle for one cheater it's just like picking a rotten apple and then if you walk a couple blocks away, you're gonna find a fully ripe, beautiful apple, you know? So let that cheater go, like gifts, like, ugh, ugh. love yourself, really like focus on yourself. Once you've been cheated on, I feel like um, you need to time to focus on yourself. So really like love yourself because a lot of times girls that get cheated on, they automatically think that they're the problem. No, you are not the problem. It's them, they have issues. They're sex fiends, like Judge Mathis said. So um, I would say if you really want him back, just text him here. I want us to work things out. 100% he's gonna take you back. Okay, last but not least, I get this question all the time. Will you share even one day of your workout routine on your YouTube? Ooh! Maze, a lot of people ask for my workout routine and you guys, I don't know, like, I'm really shy when it comes to like recording myself at the gym because everyone stares, me. It's like you bring a camera to the gym and they're all like staring like you know and so and people stare at me at the gym because I'm a baddie mate so when I go to the gym they stop and stare and I'm like you better like sorry but um yeah maybe I will but um I won't do it on YouTube it's gonna be on 
my Instagram on my reels but maybe I am gonna do it on YouTube I don't know maybe if you guys want me to comment it down in the comment section and I just I might maybe that's gonna be my next video let me know um, right now I am cutting so I'm going really hard at the gym um, and getting back on my cardio if you follow me on Instagram simply Naka you're gonna you know all these things right but that was everything guys thank you so much for hanging out with me don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next video toodaloo bye